Guys, it's been a while since I've done a top five mice video. I think it's been well over a year since I've done one. I haven't even done keyboards or headsets or microphones in a while too. So I'm gonna start off by doing the top five gaming mice under $20. And after researching for about five hours to find the best ones out there under 20, I have been successful. Before you pay full price on your next purchase, consider checking out dealsource.tech for the best tech deals online. Because not only do we have a team of people uploading deals daily, but we cross check them with multiple websites to make sure you're getting the best price out there. Right now we cover all of US, UK, Canada, and even Germany, so check out dealsource.tech, link below. Also guys, just to let you know, I purchased all the mice here with my own money. None of it was sponsored and none of it was sent over for review. Also at the end of the video, I'll be talking about my least favorite mouse as well as my favorite out of the bunch. So with that said, let's begin. So first up is Technet, which is the only wireless mouse on the list. It is not rechargeable, so you would need to supply the mouse with a single AA battery, which is not included. I'm currently using a rechargeable 2800 milliamp hour battery from EBL and has lasted me over a week so far. In terms of accuracy, the TechNet is the least precise mouse out of the five featured in this video. I don't recommend this for gaming at all, even if you're playing for fun. The mouse itself isn't as comfortable as I would have liked. There's a lot of sharp edges and straight lines. I'm also not a fan of the side buttons and the mouse wheel. It's a bit too tactile for me. It doesn't have the sturdiest build either, but it's very light, making it easy to pick up or glide across the mouse pad. It does have LEDs, but it's only in blue and it's really dim in well-lit areas. Luckily, there is an option to disable it in the back for those of you that don't fancy the lights. For $20, apparently this is one of the best wireless gaming mice you can buy, judging by the ratings. But with my experience with it, I'm gonna give it a solid 2 out of 5. The Bladehawks is a slightly better mouse. It's more precise and way more comfortable with a low profile design, making it very easy to lift and glide. The build quality is also nice and has a good weight to it. However, the mouse buttons feel a bit mushy. There isn't an audible click feedback that you get from other mice and because of that, it's much quieter than the rest of the mice featured in this video. It does come with two macro buttons on each side, which by default is set to back and forward, but because of its symmetrical design, both left and right handed users can use this mouse without a problem. The side buttons are very easy to press and the mouse wheel has a nice rubber coating, so no complaints here. The button on the top cycles through the DPI settings and changes the color of the mouse wheel only. The rest of the colors around the mouse constantly pulsate and change. Unfortunately, there is no way to set a static color, nor can you turn it off. I give this mouse a solid 3 out of 5. And number 3 is Hero Rally. This mouse is extremely comfortable, it's designed and built very well. We get nice audible clicks all around the mouse with a smooth mouse wheel up top. Unfortunately, it is made for right handed users only. The side buttons are easy to reach. It does have two DPI buttons up top which cycle through specific LEDs up to 5000 DPI. But the best part about this mouse is that you can customize everything through its software. You can change what each button does. You can set up macros, DPI settings, polling rates, and even change the color of the mouse altogether while giving it some special effects. There's even an option to turn off the lights for those of you that don't care for them. I do like the grip material on its sides. It's really easy to pick up and it slides nicely across the mouse pad. It's responsive, very precise, especially in those intense games. I mean, there is nothing I dislike about this mouse. It's a solid 5 out of 5. I'm surprised you can buy a perfect gaming mouse like this for less than $20. Well done, Hirali. My first impressions of the Magic Eagle from Habit is that it's built very well. It has a nice weight to it and it's very ergonomic. I do feel a little bit of resistance when clicking on the top left and right buttons, which is nice. The mouse wheel is very smooth and has an anti-slip rubber coating, although I'm not a fan of that text right next to it. Obviously, it's a gaming mouse. We don't need some corny text to tell us this. It kind of ruins the overall aesthetic. It does have six different LED colors that corresponds with the DPI switch, but I find it completely pointless since the mouse has red colored buttons. 
If you're a gaming mouse manufacturer and you're watching this video, please, for the love of God, do not combine the DPI switch button with the LEDs on the mouse. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. For example, this is a nice looking black and red mouse, and I want to change the LED colors on here to red LED so it matches the color scheme of the mouse and also the color scheme of my setup. Well, I can't do that because the red color is actually tied in with the lowest possible DPI setting on this mouse, which means I have an extremely slow mouse attached with the red LED and there's nothing I can do about it because there is no option in the software that lets me change it. However, there is an option to turn off the LED lights, but you have to download their driver first. The grip on the sides are nice, it's very easy to pick up for quick movements and slides nicely across a mouse pad. Unfortunately, it's made for right-handed users only. I'm personally a claw gripper myself, but this mouse is great for palm grippers as well. Honestly, the only things I hate about this mouse is the fact that they intertwined the DPI switch with the LED colors and that ugly text right on the mouse itself. And because of that, I give the Magic Eagle from Habit a solid 4 out of 5. Finally, we got the G10 from Key Idea. The crappy name aside, it's actually built very well. It kind of reminds me of the SteelSeries Rival 100 mouse with its slow profile. Technically, it has an ambidextrous design for both left and right handed users, but the side buttons are only available for right handed users, which is kind of lame. The buttons provide great feedback and are clicky with a bit of resistance. The mouse wheel has an anti-slip rubber coating as well and looks very similar to the Magic Eagle with the LED lights running down the center. It's very comfortable to hold. It's not too heavy, making it easy to lift and glide across the mouse pad. There isn't a software for this one as well, so not only are you stuck with a pulsating LED color, which is based on your DPI setting, but you don't get an option to turn off the lights as well. That's pretty much the only gripe I have with the mouse. Other than that, it's a solid pick and I give it a 4 out of 5. So my least favorite mouse out of the bunch is obviously the Technit because of its horrible accuracy and the actual design. It is not comfortable at all. I feel like the build quality is subpar, but I can't really give it too much crap because it is a wireless gaming mouse and there aren't a lot of wireless mice out there under 20 bucks that are solid. So I would say this mouse is perfect for travel and office work. I don't recommend that for gaming, even if it's for casual, stay away from this. Which leads to my favorite mouse out of the five, which is obvious, it's the only one with a five star rating, and that is the Hurelli. This mouse pretty much checks all the boxes when it comes to a solid gaming mouse, guys. Customizable LED lights, the comfort level, precision, responsiveness, it's got a pretty cool design and it's built really well. The fact that you can buy this for only $17 is crazy. I don't know how this company is making money off this mouse because this is a damn good deal. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys out there and if it was and you're feeling awesome feel free to drop a like to show your support. If you guys didn't like the video feel free to dislike as well, that is completely fine too. I'm going to be doing a lot more top 5 budget videos like these, in fact I got a few planned for my next episode so let me know in the comment section which one you guys want to see first. Top 5 gaming headsets under 50. Top 5 mechanical keyboards under 50 or top 5 budget microphones under 50. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll leave a link to all the mice that I featured in this video below. I love your faces and I'll see you in the next one.